Oa, Asulabubeko, Umjamba, hello. And welcome to Post-Colonization America. My name is Nobuusa, and I will be your guide on this new endeavor, hopefully ending corruption forever. We understand that this may be a trying time for your mind, but that's a sign that you're growing. With no divine repercussions, come see. Take this apple off the tree on your journey to knowing. Where you fit in, where you've been, and where you fought to be, or not to be. We ask you to, please, kick back, relax, and come, follow me. We've gotten suggestions to change the recipe to Aunt Ethel soup. Become a people, people of more power than powder. Sustenance with more substance. With your input, we have handcrafted a future. Based on strategies and results of previous models, we have developed a top-of-the-line program that will allow for our harmony and self-sufficiency. Spoiler alert, we will be okay.
However, it turns out, speaking against white capitalism is black. We can't live without Maya. With unbelievable precision, low price analysis revolve around our every decision. And you said that's the mission. They turn black authors, black Trying to 
convince us that black lives don't matter but blue ones do? That my kinky coils and wide nose aren't beautiful because they don't align with European standards? But guess what? The days of me eating every live place on the plate in front of me are over. I'm saying goodbye to complacency and saying what's good to loving myself audaciously. Pink people are booted up and planted up in the concrete in 1619, denied us the things we needed to grow and waited for us to wilt. In 2018, they still trying to figure out how come the concrete, a beautiful rose, black and proud, was ever able to bloom.
our muscles, 31% in the average human body's bones. Us warm blooded beings knew that water was the element in which all beings came and returned. This was what we knew about water in relation to ourselves. But how drastically things have changed. Observe, let go, harmonize. What's happening? What are we doing? How are we figuring how to support ourselves each day? Where are we buying our clothes, sheets, houses, and food? Who are we connecting to and disconnecting from? We are more than capable of trusting and sustaining ourselves. Don't talk about it, be about it. Think of the power we have as a people. The power that's getting pimped out by Uncle Sam in his red, white, and blue zoot suit. He gives us clothes and leaves. In return, we submit, but we are not pleased. We can provide for ourselves. We don't need to lend our time to him who will only misuse it. I provide for you, you provide for me. We can do this. by water contamination. 
lead levels higher than you could ever imagine. Brown, black, red, green, orange, colors residents see coming from their faucets due to our disconnect from water. How does this happen? Our water distribution system comes from iron cast pipes dating back to the 19th century to most recently plastic pipes beginning in the 1970s. Our water control system is old, white owned, and strategically placed. Low income neighborhoods suffer the most, which we know oftentimes means black people are suffering the most. Why should anyone be subject to poison when death, brain deterioration, and mental instability are the end result? Unless that was their plan in the first place. But if we took black the world today, the first thing I would do is begin a plan that undoes all of our current water control systems. A plan similar to the protesters in Canada, Brazil, the Philippines, a plan that resembles our first native waves, while simultaneously implementing new plans that go with nature. Call it water governance water sustainability, water protection, holistic water management, whatever you call it, just make sure water is revered. The big hidden secret to improving a society is recognizing the environment we live in and learning to work with it. Today, I declare among the people ready to be free, ready to be healthy, ready to be one with Mother Earth, and my decolonized mind is one with the universe not against it. I will, no, no, I will no longer ignore the misuse and neglect of water. I will educate my brothers and sisters. I will create new systems that help our nation. Missing, 
or whatever bullshit you can envision. Now, I might sound crazy or paranoid. These thoughts are often belittled as conspiracy theories. But understand that J. Edgar Hoover invented that phrase, the man that ran the organization that targeted the Black Panthers and the whole civil rights movement. If I could look Hoover in the face, I would want to say, go and tell yo, go and tell bro, come at me. But fear, complacency, that's what they wanted. And that's exactly what we gave them. A maniac, a murderer, a mischievous rebel that has to be stopped. 
but only we will know the truth. She was just the beginning of creating a better world for us. Without water, there is 
no humanity. There was no joint lubrication, no body regulated temperatures, no earth without water. Water, Maji. Water, Maji. Water, Maji. Water, Water, Maji. Water, Water, Maji. Water, 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 Water. We come with water. We survive with water. We move with water. We live with water. We grow with water. We flourish with water. We need water. We need water. We need water. If we want to be free, we must wade in the water. Wade in the water. Wade in the water. Breathe in the water. Save our water. Protect our water. Go back to our native ways and reclaim that water is life. Worship our water. Work with our water. Give thanks to the water gods, Yim and Yah Oshun. Because contrary to popular belief, we can live without a lot of things. But we cannot live without water. Water! Who knew 
our planet, bro, where the sun wouldn't shine and the winter cold. Such triumph. It's time for us that lead to growth, planting seeds of hope, making sure this is the last civil war in which we need to cope. Never forget what we were bleeding for. No, there's no need to boast. No, no need to gloat. But thank God Almighty, we finally free each other. Telling all the kids to wash up for dinner. 
Nobody can compare to a grandfather's comforting tone, telling bedtime stories as your eyes get heavier and heavier. Nothing, there's nothing like waking up to the scent of sizzling bacon and sweet pancakes made by your mother's loving hands. Nothing more exciting than anxiously awaiting the arrival of your father so you can tell him all your accomplishments and see his big gleaming smile as he tells you, I'm so proud of you. Nothing compares to those long weekend nights spent with their cousins or the everlasting Sundays that consist of church, more church, and even more church. Weekdays consist of school and tending to the land. Instead of English and arithmetic, you learn the beauty of agriculture and the art of nature. You see nature as a gift that must be nurtured and cared for. Learning to caress the soil with tender touches, giving back more than was taken, preserving nature for the well-being of the family, the true life skills that ensure longevity. We build community through community. With our families within arm's reach, our elders are able to offer a library of experience, raising legacies built off values, morals, and traditions from long ago. The home is a biodegradable safe haven. Built to, built to last a century, made of straw bells stronger and more powerful than any artificial material. But it is more than just the straw bell between the walls. It is strong in love and structure. We bring each other up so we won't fall down. And our support surpasses the walls of the home. We go into your minds and pockets. We refuse to ignore the inner workings of the brain. And our money is being recycled back to us. Find black to stay black. Building a support system that continuously grows and stands tall against any storm. Beautifully crafted with love, growth, and strength, a home is more than just a house, and a family is more than just two kids and a spouse.
So I'm going to be sad to see her go and miss all of her nagging. Um, <laughs> Haraka, if you're in the house, stand up, please. Yes, that's y'all. Haraka, if you, thank you. The lady from after you, AJ, what are you doing? And this has been our show. Let me, any questions, comments, concerns you all would like to pose at this wonderful ensemble? Y'all did that. Thank you. I can always do that on you. <laughs> okay. Uh, please, please, please fill out uh, the, the thingamajigas. Survey. Evaluation. Brain gone. Please fill out the evaluations and help let allow Bill to change your life with a little BCC punch. Turn him in at the front. Uh, we should have somebody there waiting for you. Uh, and help yourselves to the punch and cookies and get to meet this wonderful ensemble. Stay tuned for BBOI's show, Jahari's show, and NDP's show coming soon. Thank you. And Black Thought Collective's Symposium. I knew somebody was gonna catch me. <laughs>